to ensure that we get as many supplies here as we possibly can. So you guys can now... Hello. Not the front line. Going into Derna. I'll say that the heavies can do the same. Now we just need to try to stabilize the lines here. And the other thing. Oh, there's an airbase. There's an airbase. Wait, is there an airbase in Tobruk? There's apparently a level 4 airbase here. No, they're not. That was infrastructure. Let's make that uh, level two. Level three. We're going to need that air power. There we go. Athens is gone. So we're going to be suffering here even more. 2,200 planes. I am definitely losing aircraft at this point. How is the gun production coming along? Okay, that shortage is slackening, so I think what I'm going to do is drop you to 15 factories, and I think you'll be fine. And then those extra factories go into aircraft production, which hopefully will let me make up some of the difference there too. It is Libya. It looks like it's the sea, but I don't think it is. They're on Libya. Alright, so you are still a little bit short in supply, mostly because Belgium just sent some tanks in here. That's not very helpful. Greek armies. Oh, America, finally. Thank you. Yes, I will definitely take that lend lease. And actually, I should double check to see. Oh, hold to Brook would give me Mediterranean control. Yes, it would. I kind of feel like I should probably fortify Malta and Cyprus. Mm. Oh yeah, here we go. Fight on the beaches. War support stability and this also wakes up America some more. And also Finest Hour. Man, I was behind in my speeches. Let's forget that those exist. There we go. Now our war support's rising. Church, he's doing his thing.
would make no difference to the resolve of Britain and the British Empire to fight on, if necessary for years, if necessary alone. Mm, I have thought it right upon this occasion to give the House and the country some indication of the solid practical ground upon which we base our inflexible resolve to continue the war. There are good many people who say, no, we know the war. Think of the war. Better die than submit to tyranny, and such a tyranny. And I do not dissociate myself from them. But I can assure them that our professional advisors of the three services unitedly advise that we should carry on the war, and that there are good and reasonable hopes of final victory. We have fully informed and consulted all the self-governing dominions. These great communities, far beyond the ocean, Ready. who have been built up on our laws and on our civilization, and who are absolutely free to choose their course, but are absolutely devoted to the ancient motherland, and who feel themselves inspired by the same emotions which leads me to stake our all upon duty and honor. We do not yet know what will happen in France, or whether the French resistance will be prolonged, both in France and in the French Empire overseas. The French government will be throwing away great opportunities and casting adrift their future if they do not continue the war in accordance with their treaty obligations, from which we have not been able to release them. The House will have read the historic declaration in which the desire of many Frenchmen and of our own Ready. we have proclaimed our willingness at the darkest hour of French history to include a union of common citizenship in this struggle. However, matters may go in France or the French government or other French governments, we in this island and in the British Empire will never lose our sense of comradeship with the French people. If we are now called upon to endure what they have been suffering, we shall emulate their courage. And if final victory rewards our toils, they shall share the gain. I and freedom shall be restored to all. We abate nothing of our just demands. Not one shot or still do we receive. Czechs, Poland, Norwegian, Dutch, Belgium joined their forces to our own. All these shall be restored, but General Vegas calls the Battle of France. He knows. I expect that the Battle of Britain is about to begin. Ready, we took their air base. This battle depends on the survival of Christian civilization. Upon it depends our own British life and the long continuity of our institutions and our own. No fury and might of the enemy must very soon be turned on us. Hitler knows that he will have to break us in this island or lose the war. If we can stand up to him, all Europe may be free and the life of the world may be I really wish the audio balancing on these things were better. Now, the speeches are awesome, but they just make the music so freaking loud in comparison. And it's not something that we can change. 
It wasn't muted, I was just miming it because I was trying to listen to Churchill. But it's really hard to do when the sound balancing is so bad. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. Anyway, so the things that we have achieved here is we've taken Derna, we've taken Derna's airbase, which is pretty freaking awesome. And we're also pushing back on all fronts here. Plus, I saw that there were like two tank divisions and some infantry guarding this guy. I was like, Matildas, charge! And the Matildas just like, I got this, boss. Plus, America just sent me 20,000 guns, which has resolved my gun shortage, so that should start rolling out. And in fact, these guys who are at the verge of dying are actually bouncing back, which is awesome. And it's also meant that I could reposition 10 of my factories onto Spitfire production. So hopefully the Spitfire deficits will start to turn around. Because we're definitely losing a lot. Like, we started today's session with minus 90, we're minus 277. But I think that taking Derna's airbase here is going to be a big deal. Oh, there goes Greece. Wait, did they take Crete? Shoot, they did. Well, that's a bit annoying. Um, oh, they actually did the air landing. Ha, that's cool. I mean, I'm still angry, but that is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, you have to go through how many sea zones for this? No, never mind. Tobruk. Tobruk's a better way to do this. Why these divisions are being so poorly equipped. They have the full manpower. Oh, it's the support equipment to the missing trucks. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I wonder, now that America's actually starting to do lend leases, could you... Send me... That's all I need. And maybe some fuel? Nope. Sorry, but America can't spare any fuel. America needs all of their fuel. And everybody else's. That's true. Uh, they should... Oh, no, they're not. You guys are elite, and the Matildas should also be elite. And honestly, the motorized, probably too. Okay, the Greeks are starting to show up for the fight. Jolly good. And air doctrine? Yeah, no, land. Alright, so, what do we want to do here? We are using a lot of artillery. That's a really big up combat width reduction. Really? Yes, please. Okay, so all of my division templates are now going to be horribly broken. Uh, except for the heavy tanks, apparently, because they don't do artillery. Motorized divisions, however, do. We can get another two motorized in. Interesting. And I think my regular infantry divisions were the same. Yeah, they're heavy artillery too. Interesting! Alright, time for the motorized to show me what they can do. Off you go, guys. Time for some vroom vroom. 
Didn't the Germans historically do an airborne invasion of Crete under Student, if I'm not mistaken, or was it Shikorsky? No, it was, uh, it was Student. Uh, which is why I'm impressed that this actually happened, because they've used paratroopers. So that must be an event, or a decision, or something like that. Back across the desert is going to work. <laughs> Still, we're, we're getting a lot of territory here. Logistics expert, yeah? No, you're not going to be for a long time. Kind of wondering if I actually want to put the tanks under Montgomery. Because he starts as a logistics wizard? Yes, I think I do. Should have done this a while ago. Come on, go you know what? I should have sent these guys to Greece. That would have been smart. That would have been very smart. Well, hopefully if we can take Crete back again, we can use Crete as a linchpin to go after Greece. <laughs> ah, made a big mistake there. Wasn't thinking about that. What's the supply situation in North Africa? Horrible. And that's with logistics companies and all of my units. Aha! Commonwealth training plan, that's good. Uh, I believe. Let me just double check. Yes. <laughs> like the first thing I got, even my colonial units have logistics. Whoa, that's part of the problem I have here is with 4,000 supply equipment short. Uh, support equipment, rather. Joint intelligence. Cost reduction for land. Oh, no, that's my allies. That's me. And that would lead to the British professionalism. I'm super curious about what that is. As we introduce more and more armoured vehicles into our army, our other army units must be taught how to fight in conjunction with them. Combined arms must be used if we expect victory. <coughs> How's the railroad progressing? It is just outside of Sipari. It's growing. Part of the problem is because I'm doing the uh, forming the cryptology department, we're using up 32 factories right now. That's killing my civilian industry. We're keeping ahead in convoys, so that's not been a problem. Are we losing convoys in the Atlantic still? Mm, no. How many U-boats does Germany have? Are we doing a good job sinking them? They have 49. Sank five, nine cruisers last month, that's good. And this year we have sunk 55, I thought only 20 of those were German. 16 cruiser subs, okay, you know what? No, we're, we're crushing them at sea. We lost a lot of living frigates though, crikey. Um, we still have a lot though. And I think part of the reason that my frigate fleets are not looking as healthy as they once did is the fact that we've been building scout ships. And also we're working on these King George classes. Once those are flipping done in July 41, A, we get more capital ships for the war against Italy, and then B, we can go back to building more advanced frigates. Take that, and then we take that. I don't really want to give them the mountains if we can avoid it. Meanwhile, Air Doctrine. Ace Generation Chance Air Wing Experience Gain versus Air Wing Training and Mission Experience. Oh, we can go 
with the ace generation and the big gain. I don't really do training anymore. We're in the fight already. <clears throat> But we are pushing across Africa quite aggressively at the moment, which is good. So you got Dungeon Alchemist, how do you like it? I think it's one of the best pieces of software that D&D &D relate... It's one of the best D&D &D adjacent pieces of software that's happened for a long time. I'm very excited to see what happens with it in the future. Derna. Oh, Derna. I have Derna. Cool. So I just need to make sure I hold on to Derna from now on. I think I can probably do that. You are strong enough to push again. Please do. Matilda says no. <laughs> I have no organization, but I still say no. Oh no, he said yes. Boo. Yeah, I need to go and park up the Matildas, let them recover for a bit. Oh, they got there in time. Let's push them out. Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Meanwhile, the naval invasion is almost ready, but you guys are just not fighting fit. It's the support equipment and the trucks you just need so flipping badly. I mean, I've got a lot of factories working on support equipment, so we should be closing that gap. It's just that we are short on so many. How's the air battle over Britain going? The Battle of Britain, they are down to 2,000 fighters and only 700 bombers. But we lost. Wow. That was a bad round. Yeah, they are thrashing us in the air at the moment. Do they have more advanced fighters than we do? One oh nine E four. What year is the 109E4 from? Man, they are absolutely destroying us in the skies. Spitfire 1Bs, those are my super advanced Spitfires. They should be doing okay, but they're clearly not. Meanwhile, the air battles in Libya, I think, are going more in our favour. At least we have yellow air there. Ready. Move out. Orders. Ready. about retaking this stuff. Is it really holding out? Oh, it's a hefty unit of infantry. Up to 20 companies of infantry in that one. Not so surprising then. And the Italians are definitely bringing more and more armour to bear here. So even though my singular heavy tank division is absolutely kicking their ass. They're still able to do a fair amount of damage. I wonder if I should start training another one. I can't. Need to wait until these guys are finished. Unfortunately, that's taken a while.
So what I'm thinking at the moment is if I can hold onto these bits of desert, I just punch straight across to here and then just get a surround on Benghazi. And basically I can either close the pocket and destroy them completely or march on to Tripoli. Probably want to close the pocket, ideally. This railway is taking an awfully long time to build. Well, I'm losing even more factories in London. Yes, sir. You are in a division. Uh, did I have a division that was made up of random foreign units? Oh, they were the ones I sent off to Indonesia, which so far still hasn't been invaded, which is pretty nice. Let's send you off to Indonesia as well. The Belgians and the Dutch. So we are destroying a lot of... Ooh, hello. Strike fleet managed to catch one of their surface fleets. That's good. How are we doing for fuel? We're good. Alright, let's have you cancel your orders and just head back to Tobruk for a bit. Just recharge your energy. I'm going to say probably the same for the motorised once the infantry gets into position and holds. Because unfortunately we are now at the far, far extent of our resources, our supply. Which means it'll be a lot easier for the Italians to push me back. Huzzah! Just need to give my colonials a little bit of time to dig in. Oh, got another submarine, that's good. They did get a convoy, but considering we're doing a lot more lend leasing now, being just below 50 is fine. Ooh, 10 frigates lost there, that wasn't so good. Yeah, you're down to 62, which is a bit bad. Also, your entire fleet is not currently working. Might explain why we're struggling a little. You would indeed be a naval maneuver genius. Who do we have currently as our naval expert? Somerville. And I really rate maneuver, so I think making Cunningham... or screening... Just because I don't really care about. So that would be 6% maneuver, or 8. Oh, that's high command. Hang on. That would be one of these guys. That would be some seriously fast ships, though. Oh, I just don't know if I can afford to replace any of them. Man, Cunningham has become good. <laughs> um, I think that other people could become the Chief of the Navy. Potentially Harwood. Harwood's already the screens expert. There we go. Okay, so if Harwood's the screens expert, then Cunningham's going to be the Chief of the Navy maneuver. Then what we can do is we can replace Somerville with Cunningham. Yeah, I know there's an appointed advisor with this trait. I want to switch them. I can't do that. How do I switch? Well, that's silly. How do you remove an advisor? Right clicking doesn't work. Unpause. Um, 